take out this much and then rinse it off with water. Okay, two jars full of sea moss. Hey you guys, it's your girl Rob and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing something a little different. I am going to be making my own sea moss gel. I ordered the sea moss online. I will link it in the description below. I ordered this from Akeem Pierre. That's right. <laughs> First off, we're gonna start by opening the bag. And then take some out. The sea moss swells up once it's in water, so I'm not gonna do a lot so I'm just going to take out this much and then rinse it off with water. Now that I just rinsed off the sea moss I'm going to just put it in this white bowl like that and then I'm going to take some purified water and then just pour it in the bowl. Pour a little bit more. Now I pour the water in the bowl like so. Oh, I have a lime that I'm just gonna take and cut in half. Then you take the lime and you just squeeze it into the bowl. The lime juice helps take out the bitter taste. Squeeze it all out. And then I'm just gonna let this sit with the sea moss. Now with making the sea moss, you have to let it sit in this bowl of water for at least 12 hours. So I'm just gonna let it sit overnight. So I'm just gonna take some aluminum foil to just put on top of the bowl. Now that I have put the bowl into the refrigerator, I will be back tomorrow for the rest of the video. One eternity later. It's the next day, so I'm going to get the sea moss out the refrigerator and show you guys what it looked like after it soaked in some water. So you guys, this is what the sea moss looked like after sitting overnight. I am going to just do like this, make sure it's all saturated with the water also when touching the sea moss you guys want to make sure your hands are clean and so if the water is a little cloudy or foggy you might want to get some more water because we're going to need some water to blend up the seeds so i am going to get some more water and then get my blender out I got my blender ready to go and I, I just wanted to let you guys know do not use tap water use filter spring water or alkaline water I'm using purified water just because I thought I had some alkaline water but I don't so we're going to use the purified drinking water now I'm just gonna take the sea moss and just transfer it directly into this blender cup Now when you put in the water in the blender with the sea moss, you want to put a little bit at a time because you don't want to put too much and then the consistency be too watery. So I'm just going to pour about that much in here and blend it to see how it does with this amount of water.
So she's a little thick, so I'm just gonna add a little bit more water, just a little bit. And then I like mine's the consistency of applesauce, so that's the goal. We see that she's a little thick still, so I'm going to add in a little bit more water. All right, you guys, she's still a little bit thick. So I'm just gonna pour the rest of the water in here. Let me get a spoon real quick. So this is the texture. I'm not sure if I want to add just a little bit more water in here. Just, just a little bit more. Okay, you guys, now that we have our sea moss, you want to find a glass jar, mason jar, whatever type of jar you have. So you can pour this inside the jar. Now you can freeze this and it'll last about a month. Or if you keep it in the refrigerator, it'll last between like three to four weeks. You want to make sure that it's not old because it'll smell and then the color will change. So I'm going to get my glass jar. Now, I have two glass jars. I have this one that I saved from some Alfredo sauce, and then I have this clear the jar. Hold on, make a mess. All right, you guys, we made two jars full of sea moss. I saw you guys, once you put the sea moss in the refrigerator, it would thicken up. Give it about an hour or two, and then the consistency will be thicker than what you blended up. So if you did make yours like a tad bit watery, it may get thicker once it's in the refrigerator. You want to consult your doctor before doing any of this and taking all this. But I will say that you should take either one to two tablespoons a day of the sea moss. You don't want to exceed that. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's very simple, obviously, to make your own sea moss. But if you don't want to make your own sea moss, I will drop another link of health and well-being this is where i first started taking my sea moss before i started making my own 
and it's great I, I love it so yeah you guys make sure to like comment and subscribe and your girl is out stay tuned for the next video